So hey guys, what's up? This is Blameon13 here from PCG and today we got a little OBS tutorial video. So we're just going to be showing you the settings, the best settings that I've found for streaming on a mid-range graphics card and to get the best quality with no lag. So if you're like me and you're already at this stage and you've been through it all, you don't really need to talk about the scenes or the mixer or the source, so we'll go straight to settings. Uh, to start with your general, this can all stay at default. There's no need to change any of this. You can just keep this the way it is. You go to stream, obviously you set up your YouTube or your Twitch channel, and then you set your server and then your stream key. Then we want to move to output. You want to put output mode to advanced, you want to select streaming, audio track, track one. OPS will only record one audio track at a time. Encoder, which is your graphics card, I want to select NVIDIA NVENC H.264, which is just your graphics card, and then select Enforce Streaming Service Encoder Settings. Rescale output is very important, but you set downscale this to 1280 by 720. I just want to improve on reducing some of the lag. Rate control. BBR is much better than CBR for recording audio and video. I selected to use this. Set your bitrate settings to 40,000 and your max bitrate to 50,000. Now, if you have mid range, this is the best settings. You can tinker with it, check your streams, check your recordings, see which one is the better. If you have quite a powerful computer, you want to maybe try setting this to 50,000 and setting max bitrate to 100,000. These are the two settings that I have found that work for me best. Keyframe interval, keep that at 2. Preset, I like to keep it a quality. Obviously, if you have a higher end PC with more beefy power, max quality is for you. I will select quality, profile, high, GPU 0. Max B frames at 2. Now I don't need to go in the recording, audio or view type buffer, you'll have all that set up yourself I'm assuming. And then advanced, process, priority, I like to keep that below normal as I only have an A5. Maybe if you've got a big processor, maybe increase that. And if you just want to maybe look at these settings. Obviously set your stream delay. If you're concerned about people screen sniping you. And I will show you just a wee clip here of how my settings perform. This is just a clip from a live stream that I done. As you can see, if you're on a mid-range computer like myself, you're, you're your, uh, your quality isn't going to be brilliant. You get a nice snipe kill here, a nice double kill. For anybody using the, the, the higher graphics cards, and obviously this, you should, you will be able to get a lot better. I left, I fucking moved. This is just for the mid range. Just pop off two shots here. Finish that by off. Oh, ho, 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 take that, boy. So, guys, I hope uh, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please like and comment if, if your views, if it's worked for you. Please let me know. Uh, we go to output and this is just a quick recap of the settings. It's not it's not that difficult. This is this is just what I find works best for me. We all have different priorities and different preferences, different hardware. But I find this works great for me. When I try to improve it that the stream starts to lag so I've sacrificed a bit of quality. But uh, please let me know if this was helpful and uh, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully see you in the next one.